Hey guys, welcome back to our 86th episode. In the last one, we explored the incredible Ushguli area of northern Georgia, where we trekked to a huge glacier before heading south to camp by a hot spring. In this episode, we continue our journey southwest and on to Turkey. Last night I was saying that the river was like the most beautiful emerald green sort of colour. This morning we've woken up, it rained a fair bit last night and the river <laughs> has gone brown. It's not as inviting. Um, but yeah, we did actually end up going um, for a swim last night or swim, just like a little bath in the, the sulphur spring. So they're just around here. So it's just around from where we're camping. We couldn't smell the sulphur or anything from where we camped. Um, but yeah, I'll walk over the, there now and show you. So this is obviously the sulfur spring where the hot water comes out. So last night we went and stood underneath there and like you, you kind of get sprayed with the water and it's, the water's actually really, really hot. Um, so you can't really stand on the ground comfortably there. So they've put like a few of the river stones and those big timber logs underneath it so that you can sit and stand on those. Um, and then yeah, so the sulphur water comes down here and then the people have dug these little pools down here so that you can go and sit in the pools um, and just chill in them basically. Um, and then yeah, yesterday when we got here there were still a few people here and because the river was the most beautiful colour and it was so clear, they were sort of like jumping in up here and then going down with the current and then hopping back out and I was hoping we were going to be able to do that today but I don't think I'm going to be getting in that mucky water. Um, and yeah, these are all the dogs ones that kept me awake all night. I'm pretty sure they were all underneath the car. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go back and we're going to have some brekkie and I think pack up and hit the road. to the border to Turkey which is only about 20 kilometers from the city so we're just currently sitting in traffic waiting to get to the border um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting city it's um, got a massive mix of different architectural styles like there's a lot of old Soviet buildings here a lot of pretty um, I guess out there contemporary um, high-rises and a lot of like ferris wheels and all that sort of stuff but then there's the really old nice part of yeah the it's like the more traditional Georgian sort of architecture kind of like a bit like old town Tbilisi yeah so it's been an interesting city to come to um, but yeah we're, we're looking forward to some new experiences on the other side of the border smoothly at the border which is a huge relief um, especially after us trying to get into Georgia was like a little bit rough so we are just following this road along the sea um, and we're going to stop somewhere get some lunch and then keep driving I think up into the mountains tonight to find somewhere to camp <laughs> What's for lunch? 
and it's really good. And our first Turkish coffee in Real Turkey. Turkish coffee. Real yeah. Turkish coffee. Real Turkish coffee. I think it's called Turkish coffee in Turkey. It's just coffee. So I'm pretty sure there's um, meat for the egg, obviously, um, veggies. Pretty yummy, and they brought over some little milk for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To get off the well-worn tourist path, we've come into the mountains, um, heading away from the Black Sea South, and this road is called the D915. It was built by the Russians in the 30s, 1930s, and it is considered one of the most dangerous, if not the most dangerous road in the world. I'm not sure what their criteria is for classifying that. Um, I'm sure there's some pretty crazy roads, more crazy roads in northern India and Pakistan. Uh, but anyway, that's what they're saying this one is, and I thought it'd be good to add to the list. I um, went down the, what was the most dangerous road in the world in Bolivia about 10 to 15 years ago, so I thought this one would be another good one to add to the list. Uh, we've got about 53 k's to go, we have 53 k's to go until the next city, which is kind of the end of it. Um, so I'm keen to see what it has in store. So far it's been reasonably tame, just uh, pretty well surfaced. Narrow, it's only single carriage width, but the mountains and the villages which are just dotted through it are beautiful. So, so far, so good. Looking to see what, looking forward to seeing what it has in store. section now before the pass we are coming up to 1800 meters and this is called the uh, Derabasi Bends and um, you can see we can't quite make the old it. land cruiser turning circle <laughs> requires me to take two on uh, every corner which is Jolly's freaking out a bit about because I have to reverse back it's, um, we're well and truly in the cloud now, which is um, hopefully on the other side maybe it might be a bit clearer so we can actually see the scale of the drop-offs, but it's still nice and cool up here. But it's just going back to sealed surface now. The um, the road was actually well. If you can drive up a single lane road and turn the corners, you can do it easily. Anyway, it's good to get it done. Shame about the cloud. I'm going to get back in the car and heat up. up a little bit on this side but they are blowing so fast over the top of the mountain but yeah it's a pretty nice landscape. Look at those clouds. What do you think of the driver up the other side Jolie? Um, <laughs> I don't know 
of what was worse, the fact that I couldn't see anything or like if it would have been better if I could have seen it, I don't know, but they were pretty tired. <laughs> and yeah, the, each, pretty much every single one of them had to be a two point turn. Yeah, I had white knuckles. You had a good, had a good grip <laughs> on that just by the... Yeah. Anyway, this side's much more easy going. The road surface is beautiful. We yeah. obviously get a, a bit of snow here, gauging these um, markers on the side of the road. Yeah. Completely out of water and very dehydrated, and then we just found this um, spring. You know that place? Yep. Thanks. But we'll hold on to this one. We used to have one when we were in Central Asia, and it was actually really handy having just another bottle of water. And because our buckets did you, it really deteriorated. We needed something else to get water to fill up. It's actually really warm here as well. And check out the view. That's it for this episode. If you are enjoying the episodes, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It does help us with what goes on in the background of YouTube. And if you're feeling really generous, you can head over to our Patreon page and support our production there. You can simply think of it as buy, just buying us a beer for the, the work that goes into it. Um, thanks to our current patrons, as always, for your continued support. We really appreciate it. In the next episode, we're gonna continue exploring Turkey. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. See ya.